what's going on everybody to winner today i'm gonna show you guys something that many og players don't really know about and some of the newer players might be interested in knowing how much do you think your movement affects your aim and vice versa in my opinion training your movement is equally important if not more than training your aim and i'm gonna explain why and how to do it which is a technique that radiance mortals abuse already many of them don't understand how to do it properly so today i'm going to show you how to move freely no matter where you are in the map and still have space for those fights where you can strafe back and forth and take advantage of the space that you have this is one of the most important things if you don't know how to take advantage of advantage of the space that you have in a fight it's going to be very complicated to win the fight right so that's why this movement is so important so when i say strafe and shoot i mean this many people when they when they heard the word strafe they automatically think about cs which is you you go left and then you tap the other key to stop that's not what i meant okay so when i say yo guys i'm gonna start strafe and shooting that's what i mean Wait. you can see the majority of the bullets in the beginning of when i shoot go correct and then after six or eight bullets start going up so that's when you gotta stop uh shooting this way specifically but the most important thing here is that you notice that i don't really take my fingers off the keyboard so i'm gonna do it here the best way i can show you guys uh taking the middle finger out it's kind of hard but uh you're gonna see how i don't take the finger at all from the kid and this keyboard is ultra sensitive so this is the keyboard that i've been using is the osgard themed keyboard from vermilio is the muse 65 i'm gonna leave the settings here if you guys want to check it out this one is the 60 he by woody it's super good what's crazy about vermilio and it is my new keyboard is the build quality and it has pretty much put every everything that uh woody has as as a gamer someone that games every single day it feels exactly the same i haven't done any scientific tests or anything but in the software you can see they have the tachyon mode 8000 hertz low debound level uh you can also see they have socd like woody has uh sensitivity of 0.02 millimeters actuation of 0.10 millimeters you know is is the best uh, like rapid trigger bottom protect actuation dead zone is the, is the best of the best you know and they have magnetic jade switches which you can uh, switch uh, on the keyboard i don't know if we can do this but they probably can i have love for both companies but one thing that impressed me the most is the build quality on this one compared to the wooden like this is like plastic the wooden this one is like metal like i don't know if it is alloy chassis i don't know what it is but it's very heavy is the build quality is very very good uh, if you guys are interested in links in the description it helps the channel using the links and is a cheaper version of a woody and it is my new keyboard and i have the wood so it tells you a lot about it i keep pressing back and forward and when i have that little window of opportunity of when pressing it back that's when i shoot and you have an opportunity of shooting two bullets when you do this or sometimes one with the vandal is harder than with the phantom with the phantom i can do this all day and not miss a shot there we go i missed one of it but it's it's kind of rng so you need to be concentrated in the timing let me concentrate just a little bit so you needed a little bit of concentration between your shots the time that you put your finger in the other key plus the time that you click you gotta be super precise and quick that's why the majority of people don't understand that you need three things at the same time to work you gotta change the movement click at the proper time and then strafe back and click at the proper time again kind of hard to do it on the, on the air and, and talking to you guys but the idea is to understand that you can be moving when shooting at all times so you don't need to fully stop and take your shots the difference is between many players is that they stop and take the other shot like this but you can clearly see the difference you can clearly see that is slower you're taking slower shots and your character is moving just a little bit versus doing the wide ones so if you do the slow version which is this one you can see that your character is moving from here to here so something like this and you can see in my fingers i'm not like pressing the opposite key right 
and majority of people that play like this they tend to do something with their finger which is like this they whenever they strafe and they do like this and like this see my hand this is completely wrong because if you do this you're losing precious timing to press the opposite key it's way faster to do it like this when i'm doing where, where i don't take my fingers off the key at all versus to do it like this you're just losing precious time over there so if you play like this it's time to stop like try to try to change a little bit it's gonna be hard in the beginning but i know you can do it like if you put your mind into it you definitely can do it i'm gonna give you some examples in a death match because when i'm in the death match it's way easier to show you guys i'm gonna play normally like i normally do and you guys tell me if it is good enough if you guys understood if it is something that you don't think is worth in my opinion is super worthy uh because for example there are some fights that you're fighting two three people at the same time i always use uh the example of premi uh in my latest video i talk about it but if you can have enough coordination to implement the strafes plus the crouching just halfway down over there like kind of like this right so in the death match uh remember we only have three inputs we need to do okay so three things the a key i'm pressing whenever i press the a key as soon as i press the opposite key i gotta click i don't know if it is possible to do it in console i'm sorry so much for the console players i know i'm lacking uh like tutorials and guides for you guys as well but i'm pretty sure you guys can understand a little bit since i'm showing the keyboard and you know like console players are normally very smart with the however they play uh, their game so i'm pretty sure you can strafe back and forth uh with the console as well so let's let's do an exercise where i'm just gonna one tap here right uh if you miss again don't worry about it you're just practicing but let me do this exercise where i see someone and try to tap him and you can see that i'm not taking my finger off the key which is the most important thing in this exercise look i'm, I'm moving a lot and not stopping at all so that guy kind of whiffed on me and this is one of the best things about this movement like it's kind of crazy you're gonna think okay i'm moving so much i'm probably gonna miss the shots but at the end of the day if you have the timing correct in your head you're gonna kill everyone like it's crazy and it's gonna complement your aim as well uh many people they practice their aim and, and like don't see it going over to the game this is one of the most important things that i can show you guys here like no matter how much you practice your aim, if you don't practice your movement as well, it's not going to translate to the game well. That's a fact. And look at, look at the strafes. I'm doing little strafes. Sometimes I do bigger strafes like this one. So it, and I can implement some crouching as well in this technique. Let me see if I can show you this. Here's some crouching and some strafes. And when and you guys can notice that i don't take my hand off the keyboard at all and the crouch is super quick and i don't know how you guys tend to play many of you guys look at this i was aiming at one guy and then the other appeared in my screen and i was strafing so much that i was able look at this i was able to like kind of make him miss me and then open to the other guy and this is the whole idea of this video is to show you guys that it's possible to fight with multiple people whenever someone body shots you which is the most important thing that a lot of people ask me what should i do yeah if i get body shot my whole movement is done right so if you get body shot the best thing you can do is to crouch and recoup your aim because if you crouch if they body shot you it means that their aim is lower and if you crouch they're gonna try to up, pretty much go up to your head right because they are body shotting you and when you crouch they're gonna miss you so using logic it makes sense right so if someone is body shotting you and then you crouch they're gonna be trying to aim at your head because everyone wants to headshots right so it's something that i do normally when i get body shot let me see if i can show you guys someone body shots me here like it's very challenging when you first start but once you get the the vibe and how, on how to do it you're gonna like start implementing ways of shooting so you can like shoot tap like this with the vandal is really hard let me show you with the phantom with the phantom is super easy to shoot that i don't see why many people don't play phantom when it's this easy like, look at this you're gonna make some people really mad when you do this because look at this i'm wide swinging that guy with everything on me because he was crouching and when you're playing versus someone that is crouching against someone that is wide swinging the person swinging will always have the advantage against that person 
so you know it's, it's different shooting styles uh let me go let me do it with the vandal because the phantom is kind of choosy let me dive here the vandal is a little bit harder because the the recoil is too much sometimes but it's still possible okay not from the very like big distance but from like a medium distance like this like this maybe maybe that as well i hate that little jump because i always mess my aim when i do that look at this see that was like a medium to long range battle that was the whole idea of the video yeah let me know if you guys have any questions uh anything you guys want to know but in the comments i'm also answering all the comments uh follow me in my socials and yeah i have a second channel as well that i'm doing videos much love see you on the next one